So you're thinking about moving to the Sacramento area, but before you come out here, you want to know what school districts are the best. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, before we get started, please hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell because I've got new videos coming out for you every Tuesday and Thursday. And as much as we love making these videos for you, we are real estate agents in the area. So if you're looking to buy or sell, make sure you reach out to us because we would love to get you into your new home. All right, so jumping into these school districts, uh, all the information that we pulled was from niche.com. Uh, really good site, actually has a lot of information there. And so let's jump into our first district. First school district is gonna be Davis Joint Unified School District. Now, I'm gonna pop a little map up here so you guys can kind of see where it's at. Davis is a little further out there and really what's kind of cool about Davis is almost every single school out there is an A plus rating. A couple A minuses in there, I think one B. But for the most part, you've got a lot of really good schools out there. Uh, you've got the university out there as well, which is driving a lot of the um, the great school content that they get out there and access to with that college being out there. They were named uh, number 29th school district, best school district in California, as well as they have actually one of the smaller, not too much smaller, but one of the smaller uh, ratio student per teacher. So they're sitting around, right around, depending on the school, um, 20 to 21. Uh, students per actual teacher. They're winning awards every single year. Um, you've got uh, quite a few people moving out to that area. Housing though is going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, the only factor I see a lot of people not wanting to go out there is because it is at the end of the day a little bit of a college town. Uh, but we'll get a video up pretty soon uh, showing you how beautiful Davis actually is. So let's get into number two, which is gonna be Roseville Joint Unified. Now Roseville Joint Unified is actually a really large school district. Uh, it's running from Roseville all the way out to uh, the Granite Bay, hitting that Folsom Lake area. They're actually in the top 10 in California for uh, athletics. So you've got a lot of um, great athletics, whether it's football, track, um, any kind of other sport out there, basketball. We've got a lot of really good coaches. And again, community out here really is going to support those schools as much as possible. Also, just a little fun fact, Roseville was also just named the uh, top 10 happiest places to live. So again, schools, kids coming out here, I think that's one of the biggest driving factors for us. For the overall students, there's about 10,000 students in the area. A lot of building going on. Um, you're seeing elementary schools being built like crazy, especially with all the new builds going on in the West Roseville area. Also, uh, you've seen it before, you've got the uh, new high school that has come out, which to me looks like an Apple or Google campus and that school is going to it's such a large school it's going to actually pull a lot of people in and i believe they just won uh, for the football team just one uh, district so that's going to be a school to definitely watch and i think it's going to be again another driving factor for a lot of people to come out to the roseville area other than that they are named number 44th best school district in california uh, a lot of teachers are loving coming out to this area working out here so we get really good pick of what teachers we want um, in the area. So now let's get into our number three spot. So for number three, we're going with Rockland Unified School District. Now Rockland School Unified School District, one of the coolest things I think about it is I've got a lot of clients that will move here. Uh, while they're doing their research, they find out that their special needs program is actually one of the best in California. I believe it's number two out there. Uh, and it's not just one school, a lot of the elementaries to the junior highs all the way into the high school, really good program for them. So I've seen a lot of clients go out to that area just for that factor. Plus you've got a lot of the new builds out there. Whitney Ranch is gonna be one of the biggest uh, ones out there with the elementaries. And they're actually one of the few in uh, niche.com that I found. They are number 74th 
for happiest place for teachers to work. So not too bad. They're in the top 100 for teachers to work. Again, they really are enjoying it, really have some good programs for the teachers um, and actually support those teachers very well with those programs. They are pretty much the, the district itself. It's a little bit smaller than say like your Roseville, even a little bit smaller than Davis. They actually are gonna sit right in between uh, the 65 and the 80. And they also have a 95% graduation rate, one of the highest in niches overall ratings. Next one we've got is gonna be our number four spot, and that is gonna actually be Placer Unified School District. Placer Unified School District's pretty interesting. Um, so you've got a lot of schools, like say in the Loomis, uh, in that lower Auburn area, but Placer, because it goes so high, you're gonna actually get uh, into the foothills pretty deep. So depending, the overall rating is about 25 students to every one teacher. But if you get a little higher into Placer, that rating really does go down. They have smaller classes. Uh, one of the smallest high schools is actually in um, the Placer Unified uh, School District. Other cool thing is even though a lot of the, the ratings is bunched up on the south end of the Placer Unified School Districts. They are number five in California for their athletic program. I'm gonna give that one a lot to that Delaware High, man. Those guys have been on a rampage for years when it comes to their football program, basketball programs right there behind and track. Other than that, they are right off the uh, Highway 80. Like I say, you're gonna get a lot of more smaller towns that kind of build up these areas. So for, let's call uh, Del Oro High, you're gonna have Penryn, Newcastle, you're gonna have also Loomis, all kind of combined up there. Uh, you got a lot of the Auburn area, and then you go a little bit more up to the uh, foothills and a little bit more spread out. For our number five spot, we're going with Folsom Cordova. Now, this unified school district is pretty big, almost like the uh, Roseville one. They're starting from Folsom going all the way down to Rancho Cordova. Uh, so it's a pretty spread out school district. Their student ratio is about 24 to one. Now that's gonna change pretty quickly. There's a big project going out in Folsom that they're building a ton of houses as we're speaking. And so it's gonna, that number actually should drop because they're also building elementaries and they're building um, middle schools out there just as fast as they're building the new house builds. Other than that, they are rated number 11th for their athletic programs. Again, I think a lot of that is gonna come from the uh, more of the north area, the Folsom area, but um, you still have some really good schools and competitive schools down there in Rancho Cordova. They, for the most part, this school district's gonna just run right down that 50 line. So if you're anywhere between that rancho all the way up to that Folsom area, you're pretty much gonna be into this uh, school district. Also, they are number 45 for the most diverse school district uh, in California, which is pretty cool. We've talked about it in some of our other videos. Uh, that's kind of why I like that uh, 50 size because you've got a ton of different food, right? Uh, with diversity comes um, a lot of different foods out there, which is near and dear to my heart. Um, and then for this as uh, kind of a bonus one, uh, I was actually surprised they didn't make it into the top five through niche, uh, but actually rated number six was Elk Grove Unified School District. I think that really just has to do with the size of the classes. They again are on a rampage with uh, building, but they do have a lot higher student to teacher ratio. They are building some new schools out there. They are trying to catch up, but I feel like Elk Grove is one of those ones that they really should be probably even the top three. Uh, just because of their programs that they have out there. And I think that once they get some of these new schools built, you're gonna see that change very quickly. But we'll make sure we update you uh, next year when the new stats come out. Other than that, guys, as always, hopefully you guys got everything you needed out of this video. Our information is down at the bottom. If you need to set up that Zoom meeting, it's up on the top. Hit us up any way you want. Zoom, email, phone. Uh, anything works. We love helping you guys get out here. If you got any questions about anything, please leave us a comment as well. Uh, love to jump in there and make sure that we get all your questions answered. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one.